Hello everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today, it is time. Time for what? You'll have to stay tuned and find out right here on Garden Jen's Journey. What is it time for? It's time for me to winter sew. I'm a couple weeks late because uh, my health's not been the greatest, but that's okay. I still have plenty of time to start planting these jugs and getting them outside. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will leave a link up above as well as in the description box below on what winter sewing is. So let's get planting these jugs and get them outside and ready to go. I have my jugs brought inside so they can acclimate to the uh, environment in here. That way when I go to tape them it is time and they are ready to go. So I have my dirt inside um, so it's nice and warm and not frozen. I also have lots of labels ready to go. I have my duct tape and my paint pen. I have the seeds that I'm going to be planting today. Or within the next couple weeks actually these are all the seeds I need to have planted in March and early April I also have my water jug ready to go to moisten the soil and make sure that it's nice and good and uh, moistened enough for the seeds to start growing in once the temperatures are the right time for the seeds in the jugs so I'm going to set my camera up and I'm going to start planting my jugs and I will fast forward some of this because it's uh, time consuming but you'll still uh, see what I do as I start doing these jugs in mass quantities. Okay so I have my first four jugs sitting here on uh, the lid of what my soil sits in. To collect the extra water and dirt and stuff. Uh, my table is very cramped right now because I have soap that's carrying on it and I also have my incubator uh, with chicks that are supposed to hatch um, on Sabbath. So we're working with the small space that we got and we're just gonna start getting these jugs planted. And this is where I'm gonna start fast forwarding um, because this is a little time consuming.
Now these jugs are ready to go outside and be put in the garden. And then it's on to the next batch. This time we're going to use a pitcher of water to get the uh, soil moistened in the beginning and then we'll use our water spritzer to moisten it at the end. It'll go a lot faster. <clears throat> Okay, last but not least, before I take all the jugs outside, I make sure that I make myself a chart um, of what I'm planting, how many jugs of that particular uh, plant that I planted, uh, when I planted it, and then when the jugs actually germinate, 
That way I can keep track of um, just inventory and how soon uh, the uh, seeds are germinating. Especially if I'm doing a new seed uh, this year, I want to know when it germinates compared to when it plants to see if it's a warmer weather crop and that I can plant it later. Or if it's a cooler weather crop that I need to plant sooner. Um, but it's, it's always good to have this information ready to go. And it's a backup in case you forgot what you planted. So I'm going to write down that I planted uh, my Gallardia and my Totsoy and my beets and stuff. So I'm going to write that down here. And I'll write down the date. There we go. So it looks something like this. And then later on, I'll put this into my Excel worksheet so I also have an electronic copy in case the paper copy gets lost. I'll take a break uh, today and do some more later on. But that is how I winter sow. I practice what I preach. I do what I teach. And so get out there and get winter sowing. Get those seeds planted and just be ready for when they start growing. And uh, you'll be super excited to see how this process works. So let's get out to the garden and get these guys out where they need to be to grow this year. So the jugs are on the cart ready to get taken out to the garden as you can see right now we don't have any snow it actually melted um, but this is still march in michigan we can end up with a foot or two of snow before planting time in in june so just because i don't have snow don't uh, think that you have to wait till there is no snow to put your crops out in the garden so let's take our cargo and move it to its new location So that's all there is to winter sowing and like I said I practice what I preach I do what I teach so I'm gonna get some more jugs done in a little while and we'll keep an eye on how these bad boys do thank you so much for watching this video if you found it encouraging give it a thumbs up and share it with other people who might not have ever heard of winter sowing before if you want to continue to follow me along on this journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope that wherever you are, you're wonderfully blessed. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.